Well, it was, it was, like, well, it was your immediate reaction to Greg Hardy being someone on the ground. I can see that. I was like, shit. Uh, I was making a joke, man. <laughs> That's a, a, a win for you. I know you, you probably would have, you know, like to get a finish, that sort of thing. But overall, give, give me an idea how, how you feel about your performance tonight. Dude, Dustin Ortiz, man, the guy stays chopping. Look at his Instagram. That's how it is fighting him. I went out there um, in our first fight, hit the guy literally with everything. There's like 200 significant strikes to the head and body. The guy wouldn't go down. So after that, you know, I didn't know I was going to fight him again. But when I did, I was like, oh, you know what? I can expose him on the ground. Felt good there. Literally hit him with everything the first time. I'm not going to knock him out. Um, so went in there. Felt good. Still dropped him. Found some clean shots on the feet. Um, but I knew I could expose him on the ground. And just give him a different look. You know, than he expected. He probably went in there and knowing, hey, I have to improve on the feet. That's where he beat me. Put him down a little bit. Um, got him there. And I think that's ultimately what got me the win. Yeah. He had some success as well. But as you said, he's a tough yeah. guy. He had some good moments as well. I mean, was it, was, it, was it tougher than you expected, or it sounds like you had a lot of respect for him coming in? I have a lot of respect for him in our first fight. Um, but yeah, it was tougher. I mean, I, I thought I was going to finish him always. You know, that's what you train to do. That's what you go out there to do. You know, to fight like you think you can, like you train, you know, like everyone knows around you that you can. So I thought for sure I was going to finish him. But like I said, Ortiz, first time, thought the same thing. He's just one of those guys, you know, um, super tough. Went out there, had a great fight. It's fun for me, man. This is great. Going out there, listening to music, doing cool shit with your friends and your corner. Um, Russell Westbrook's down there. I said hi to him. He's a style icon. <laughs> He's also my other friends in the crowd. I'm like, we're just doing this getting paid, man. Having a good time. And I'm finding another guy, the Ortiz, who I respect on ESPN in Brooklyn. Um, it's incredible, man. Any, any Saturday like this is a fun night. Uh, you kept yourself at the top of the division, of course. I know you got to be tired of talking I've about it. I've been at the top of the division. That's what I'm saying. You've been there for, from the beginning, right? And I know you got to be tired of talking about it, but I'm sure you saw the press conference play out where, like, you know, Zayna wouldn't answer anything, and he said, we'll see you on Saturday. I mean, what, what, what the heck do you do now? I mean, where do you go from here? What? I mean, how many times can I answer? Like, how am I even supposed to? You go out there, you fight, you do your thing. These guys fight. I'm not fighting. I'm not making decisions. Um, you know, I've been here in here since the beginning, you know, since Flyweight stepped foot in here, you know, I've been doing it, you know, been a fan of every Flyweight since. We finally have, like, new life, a new champion, dude's an Olympic champion, we have super fights, we're headlighting, and there's hundreds, you know, thousands of kids out there trying to be the Flyweight champion of UFC right now. You know what I mean? I mean, it would be crazy to get rid of something like that, not knowing, you know, what the future even holds, because this is the first real sign of the future um, in, the, in the history of the weight class. They've been chasing the belt for a long time. We've got yes. that new belt they unveiled. Belt's a belt. It's good. It's what it symbolizes. You know, I'm not going to go in on design detail. Um, <laughs> if you want to do. But um, symbolizes being the best. That's what I'm here for since the beginning, since the original four we fought in Australia. You know, and I fought DJ for the inaugural title. He went on to become the longest reigning title guy ever. I'm still here and uh, on for the for the for the title. I have a win over the champion. TJ's fighting um, fighting him for the title. So the mission has been the same the whole time since it started. Since I made the groundwork for this division um, to be the best in it. So that's obviously what I want. What's been your opinion of TJ's attitude this week? You guys are casting this fight. It's a little, I mean, it's disrespectful. I mean, there's one thing doing your own thing. Everyone wants to be the best and everyone wants to be great. No one ever stop anyone from doing that. But there's no other, I guess, champion out there that's like, oh, I'm going to close the division. It's like, if it happens, it happens. I'm just doing me. You know, that, there's just ways to go about things and answer things. Even if you're faking it, just fake it. Be like, don't, you know. I'm doing my own thing. I don't know what's going to happen for the division. And I'm like, can't wait for this division. But when you have friends and people there that have been training their whole lives for it. So it's just one of those, you know, um, crazy things. But at the end of the day, you know, it's not because of him or because of this or because of that. Whatever's going to happen, it's going to happen. Obviously, I think there's a bigger chance of it staying. So who goes out and gets it done? But uh, it shouldn't be uncertain for uh, Anyway, I mean, there's been double champs. Before you almost close the other division, it goes on, especially a division like ours, who's 
you know, we're just getting our feet off the ground. We've been like crippled by this like brilliance of DJ our whole life. You know, now we finally have um, a new champion already making super fights. I have a win over him. There's also the matchups there. Our whole top five is a great mix up of skill. And like I said, there's thousands of kids out there right now trying to be the flyweight champion of UFC. You know, you're taking that away from all these guys too. How stressful has this lead up been? Because not only are you getting ready for a fight, but you know, there's all these unanswered questions about the flyweight division. Now as well. Um, it's one of those things. It's not really it's stressful. It's more just like it gives you that little chip on your shoulder, but it's like an extra push. You know, like anyone like wants to take you down and say like you're not good enough to do this. Like, you know, successful people don't like fold. They just it just motivates them. So that's really what it's been. It's been annoying. Like. Everyone's doing their job, obviously, but it's hard to keep answering because you don't really have an answer besides, you know, pushing forward. And so that's all you really do, you know, when you get disrespected or someone doubts you or anything. That's all you can really do. So I did that with my 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 fight seven weeks ago. You know, went out there and finished a tough guy in a first, in a first round uh, fight. Now I'm doing it again seven weeks later here in Brooklyn. So there's still fights, flyweight fights matched up even after the title fight. So. Business as usual, man, until, you know, things are certain or not. Yeah. Did you enter this fight with, with a little bit of an extra grit or something? Because the, the whole question surrounding the flyweight division is like, oh, flyweights, like flyweights are not exciting, yeah. right? Did you enter the fight going, hey, let me, let me show you what the flyweights are? Um, you do, I do that for every fight because we've always been, not that I felt disrespected or anything like that from the beginning, but we've always been the new division. You know, we're still new. Like I said, we're only on our second champion. So first fight ever in the division. I've done that and every time since, you know. So not really, you know, anything extra or extra good because you kind of do that every time for yourself. And then when you have a tough guy in front of you like Dustin Ortiz, you can't really be distracted by other things. You know, you just got to look at him um, as a fighter. But, you know, for the division in general, you're the new guys on the block, which we still are. Um, and, in relative terms, um, a new division, um, you're always fine like that. What, why do you think there's so many like comments and have to say, like, maybe not paying the respect to the why do you think I don't know. I mean, I think a lot of it has to do with just the brilliance of DJ crippled the division forever. People didn't love him, so maybe they didn't love the rest of everything. I mean, I think that's, a, that's all people knew, and, you know, people didn't enjoy him as much as they probably should have. So, but there's a whole world of guys out there, guys training right now, you know, future champions, future stars, and uh, let's give everybody the chance. All right, guys, we're going to pull Joe so we can get a record. You guys can watch the event, okay? Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks, Love you guys.